If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Hi, welcome to Zarin Tech on SAP BTP Cloud Identity Services, Identity Authentication. Disclaimer. In this video, we will be covering Introduction Documentation Establish Trust Applications in SAP Cloud Identity Services Identity Authentication Create New Service Instance for Cloud Identity Service the SAP BTP Identity Authentication Service is a cloud-based service provided by SAP as part of its business technology platform. It offers a comprehensive solution for managing user identities and access control within SAP and non-SAP applications. It enables organizations to authenticate and authorize users, manage user lifecycle, and ensure secure access to their applications and resources. Here are some key features and functionalities of the SAP BTP Identity Authentication Service. Single Sign-On, SSO. The service provides a single sign-on capability, allowing users to log in once and access multiple applications without the need for separate authentication. Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA. It supports various authentication methods, including passwords, smart cards, mobile push notifications, and biometric authentication to provide an additional layer of security. User Lifecycle Management. The service allows organizations to manage the entire lifecycle of user identities, including user registration, provisioning, deprovisioning, and self-service password reset. Identity Federation. It supports identity federation standards such as Security Assertion Markup Language, SAML, and OAuth, enabling seamless integration with external identity providers and enabling users to access applications using their existing credentials. Secure Identity Store, the service provides a secure repository for storing user identities and attributes, ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of user data. Role-based access control, organizations can define roles and permissions to manage access control across applications and resources. Steps to establish trust. Step one, in the SAP BTP cockpit, go to your subaccount, see Navigate in the cockpit, and choose Security Trust Configuration. Step 2. Choose Establish Trust. Step 3. Select an identity provider from the list of available and choose Establish Trust. SAP Cloud Identity Services shall evolve into a one-stop shop when it comes to identity access management and securing system-to-system -system communication by providing means for Authentication, Identity Federation, and Single Sign-On, Central User Store, Identity Provisioning, OAuth Token Service, Certificate Service. SAP BTP Conditional Authentication is a feature that provides enhanced security and flexibility for user authentication in SAP BTP environments. It allows you to define and enforce authentication rules based on various conditions such as user attributes, device information, network information, or any other contextual information. With conditional authentication, you can configure authentication policies that determine the type and level of authentication required for different scenarios. For example, you can set up a policy that mandates multi-factor authentication for users accessing sensitive data or performing critical actions, while allowing single-factor authentication for less sensitive operations. New instance creation. Enter service, plan, runtime environment, space, and instance name. The instance has been created successfully. The SAP BTP Identity Authentication Service is a cloud-based service provided by SAP as part of its business technology platform. Steps to establish trust. SAP BTP Conditional Authentication is a feature that provides enhanced security and flexibility for user authentication in SAP BTP environments. Thank you and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.
Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below, and we will reply to them at the earliest.